Hello, I'm Dr. Ann Rocha. I'm on the faculty of the Annie Taylor D. School of Nursing at Weber State University. I personally have a Doctor of Philosophy degree or PhD and I am also a board certified family nurse practitioner. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes and talk to you about the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. You may have heard a lot about that. You may be under the impression that it stands for Doctor of Nurse Practitioner, but I'm here to tell you it does not. It stands for Nurse Doctor of Nursing Practice. So this degree is an academic degree, just like an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a PhD. You can receive a DNP in a variety of emphasis or tracks, but it is primarily a degree that focuses on coursework that makes you an executive nurse leader. So say that you are a registered nurse, perhaps you have a master's in nursing, and you'd like to go on for positions in the healthcare system of greater responsibility and authority, such as a chief nursing officer, a chief nurse executive, or perhaps a vice president of an entire department. You might want to consider the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. Here at Weber State, we offer this degree with a focus on executive nurse leading leadership. It is five semesters. The courses are intensely focused on the healthcare system and how to become a leader in improving patient care throughout the U.S. So based on the information I've just shared with you, what is the difference between the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree and a nurse practitioner? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Neville Norton, Professor and Director of Graduate Studies for Weber State University. In addition to those roles, I've also served as the Director of the MSN program and the DMP program. I am also a pediatric nurse practitioner and have been serving and working as a pediatric nurse practitioner for over 20 years. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about once you receive your DMP degree, what's next? All nurse practitioners are required to take a certification exam through a national certifying board. That organization requires proof that you have graduated with the correct degree and that in addition to that, you have taken the right classes and had clinical placements, preparing you with the knowledge and skills to practice in your specialized role. There are a number of certifying exams based on the type of specialty that you took during your degree pathway. For example, you could be a family nurse practitioner, you could be a psychiatric nurse practitioner, or like me, you could specialize in taking care of children, becoming a pediatric nurse practitioner. Some of the things that the certification board requires of you are a transcript, showing that you graduated with a degree from an accredited institution and that you've completed the number of courses and clinical hours necessary to practice in a professional setting. You will then take your certifying exam and once you pass it, and you will pass it if you come to Weber State, then you will have the certifications and the credentials telling professionals and the public that you are prepared to practice. Once you have passed your certification exam, then you're going to apply for licensure. Licensure is going to look a little bit different depending on the state that you're practicing in. So make sure that you contact the licensing body within that state for licensure. Once you obtain licensure, then you are ready to practice as a nurse practitioner. Now, the scope and practice can vary depending on the state that you practice in. For instance, in Utah, we have a very full scope and practice. We as nurse practitioners in the state of Utah can have our own independent practice. We can establish our own clinics and we can work in a variety of settings from rural to urban. In addition to that, depending on your expertise and probably some additional certifications, you can work in a hospital setting in a number of different levels. I have worked in urgent care, private practice, and now community practice, all of which revolve around pediatrics. So it's really the opportunities are endless for the nurse practitioner. The role is going to expand in the next 10 to 15 years as we experience shortages in healthcare and Weber State University is the place where you want to get your education.